Are you looking for ways to drive more organic traffic? One way to do this is by finding popular keywords your audience is searching for and then creating content for them. I'm going to show you how you can quickly uncover keyword opportunities you are missing out on. We call these keyword gaps. Let's pretend WarbyParker.com is our site. We'll compare our site to popular industry leaders who are doing well in search. This will help us identify the keywords they're getting traffic for, but our site isn't. Now we're looking at a list of keywords that are driving traffic to one or more of the sites in this set. Keywords that are shared among this set of sites will be relevant terms for Warby Parker's target audience. At the top left corner, you can see there are over 41,000 keywords for this set of sites. Now, there are several metrics provided for each keyword, popularity, competition, and average traffic score. Each site has a traffic score for a given keyword. Traffic score is a relative measure of how much traffic each site gets for a given keyword. It can be used to compare one site to another to see which site gets more or less traffic from the same keyword. Average traffic score is the average among the entire set. It can be used to weigh the relevance of various keywords to the audience of these sites. The higher the average traffic score, the more traffic that keyword is driving to one or more sites in the set. To identify keywords we're missing and not getting any traffic for, open the filters. Then select Show Organic Keyword Gaps for WarbyParker.com. Notice how you can also filter to show paid keyword gaps. We are focused on organic keyword opportunities in this video, but this is a good option if you're interested in PPC. These are all the keyword gaps for WarbyParker.com. Notice these results have a zero traffic score. These are opportunities that other sites in the set get traffic for, but Warby Parker doesn't. Review the results to find keywords you can create content around that will attract your audience and drive more traffic to Warby Parker. For example, rimless glasses. This looks like a fairly popular keyword. Warby Parker could target this keyword in an informative blog post. Maybe the title would be five celebrities that rock rimless glasses. Here's another option, glasses for heart-shaped face. This could be a good option for a guide on choosing the best glasses for your face shape or a landing page with different Warby Parker glasses that are recommended for heart-shaped faces. Whatever keywords you find that are good opportunities for your site can be saved to your workspace to work on later. Here's a pro tip. Use the ellipses beside keywords you find to research the sites that have the highest share of voice for this keyword. This will show you the sites that perform the best for this keyword and show you who you'd compete with in search. Remember, when using the competitor keyword matrix, you'll get the most valuable keywords if you use sites that are very successful in search. These sites are great examples to learn from. Plus, the direct competitors you usually think of might not be the most successful in search. So that's how you find keyword gaps using Alexa's competitor keyword matrix. Now you're ready to find keyword gaps for your own site. If you don't already have an Alexa account, you can try this tool for free with a trial of the advanced plan.